Hello and welcome my friends. Here we are back at Worlds. This time we have Hangwa Life facing Fly Quest. And this is supposed to be an absolute slaughter. There's just not much more to say about this. Hangwa Life, an absolute behemoth of the LCK versus the first seed of the LCS. And I mean, eh, like we don't want need to sugarcoat it, right? It's fucking NA. And like, I mean, sure, I know, like, FlyQuest here, obviously, it's like, okay, they're like really good. They have this guy, they have this, it just doesn't matter. Look at Hangwa Life roster. It's insane. They are the LCK champions for a reason, and it's going to be brutal. Many people have already said they want to surrender. They don't even want to see this because the expectation is a 2-0 disaster, like fastest BO3 ever in history and so on and so on. That's the expectations coming into this. Hangwa Life look so good, and especially on this patch. Talking about the patch, let's talk about the draft because you already have a first pick Yon. How the fuck is that even allowed? Like, how do you look at this and allow a first pick Yon? The problem for FlyQuest is they're on red side, right? So you have to ban a couple of champions. Aurora not being one of them. Like, fuck that champion. So obviously useless. Um, and yeah, FlyQuest, I mean, hey, Angwell have already banned the Ivern, right? They, were, they know we're not going into this and we're playing standard Lever Legends, right? We're going to get into this and it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. We're just going to pick up what we like and we just try to beat whatever the fuck is coming at us, right? Because, I mean, that's a Callista. That's a, a Callista, okay, yeah. That's a Cassiopeia. That's an Amumu. That's an Urgot, right? Um, no pressure on Fly. They can just pick whatever, play, pick whatever you want, whatever you think is good in these matchups and just play your hearts out, right? That's your moment here. Uh, there is zero pressure, zero expectations. That doesn't mean that you like go 0 10 here, but it means that you well can play with confidence, right? No pressure. Just don't make it like embarrassing, right? I I mean there are probably some people who have like high expectations on this because it's like first seed versus first seed, but uh, please don't be mistaken, right? FlyQuest is like not even the David versus Goliath, right? He's like an ant versus Goliath, right? This, uh, like, a, a fly, right? It's like, hey, we can make that joke. Anyway, let's see if the fly gets squashed off the crazy movements of the fly with her picks, right? Can make something happen in game number one against the giants of Hangwa Life. Okay, so pretty boring here, Hangwa Life. Um, I mean, what the hell, right? We already have a swap going on. Okay, and I say that, Weppo flashes in. Flash for flash. Hey, we take that. What here? Getting attacked. That's going to be his death and first blood for Peanut. Let's go. SKT jungler. Let's go. We already knew he could do it. Oh man, so sad that Peanut... I mean, Peanut won MSI with T1, so uh, I'll take that one. And... Close. Inspired gets the first smite fight, so that's at least something. Um, yeah, I mean, Inspired is someone everyone is going down on, uh, right? I mean, he's a good jungler, but... I mean, this is like some of the Western cope, right? It's like always they have like this Caps guy, then it's like Inspired or someone else. Uh, like they always need like some kind of players where they say, hey, hey, actually, actually they're like, they're really good. I'm, I'm, and I'm not saying they're bad, but it's like they're actually good enough to like face the Western, uh, like the, the Eastern junglers. They're actually good enough to like compete with them. And well, often it doesn't end up working, right? Uh, Part of the problem, to be honest, is that it's a team game, but we'll we'll just have to see. Uh, like probably very boring here with the lane swap, but I mean, it makes sense. Sangwa Life is not laning against Kalesta Renata. Uh, it's just uh, that would be a bit insane. I mean, they're still going to lane against them, but uh, just with a bit of a delay. Still, Masu picks up three plates, uh, no, two plates here, and uh, yeah, I mean, Mister uh, Heavy is the crown. Hey, make something happen, right? Yeah, I mean, honestly, looking at this game, it's like Hangul Life, they have literally whatever the fuck they want, right? They have some of the best champions for some of their players. So, I don't know, the Strike Quest strategy, it's just... I mean, we'll have to see. No, the game is not over yet, and they're not down in gold or something like that. So, good for them, but I just don't really believe in this. But, hey, I mean, this is their best shot. I think if they played standard, they're just going to lose out, right? So, go for whatever and just try to try to see what happens okay now let's see so it's going to be interesting Bwipo is about to hit level six but he is not it yet gets the level up and gets the hp gets the flip can he get the old no he does not even get that one it's just the clean dive and 
I, I mean, I was trying to build it up, right? It's like, oh yeah, let's go, but no. Okay, okay, and the cross... Oh, 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 oh! What? Doesn't have the old... Uh, the minions! Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, Zeka finds the solo kill against Quad. I mean, Quad already obviously O2 a bit down here after like some of the early shenanigans with Peanut, right? Already was on the back foot if you look at the CS, right? And it's just, I mean, I get it, right? Give HLE what they want and uh, like we get counter picks and like do crazy things. But is it going to work? No. I mean, this is just crazy, right? Bustio missed everything. He missed every fucking thing. Positive new. Okay, so. First thing. Let's breathe. Quad obviously already, like, on the back foot, right? I don't believe in this matchup, and it's like, sure, you want to pick crazy counter picks and, like, what you believe to be counter picks, but I mean, eh. Hey, Yon for Zeka? That's just, that's just crazy talk, so. Regardless, so we get some replays here. Buepo here gets the flash buffer. There's inspired as well with the ult, and yeah, Zeka's just CC chain. He snaps back, but just snaps back into his death. Uh, very nicely executed. And I don't know if we got a replay of top lane, but Busio just hit nothing. And uh, yeah, that obviously let his uh, AD carry do his demise. Not only Dora and Zeka being on super comfort and super strong champions, arguably. Um, Right. They also have the support of Peanut again, who has been doing so well. I think his, uh, what is it, 18, 19 years where I think he was in the LPL, not sure which team it was. Was it LGD? Yeah, I mean, that, that time frame he was not really doing well, but since his return to the LCK, that guy has been really good. Oh, inspired with the flash ult, and then the W on top from Quad locks down the Yon. No opportunity to escape. Can Buepo, though, outplay the dive? He flashes away, gets the flick done, but the turret aggro was already on Viper, so unfortunate for him. But, uh, oh, inspired hits another Q. Busio continues to do nothing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, good place by FlyQuest there in the side. Immediately answered and responded to by HLE, though. And uh, yeah, I mean it's it's okay, right? Burpo, again, it, it's it's tough, right? Sure, it's like when you get these, uh, like when you get the old off, right? You immediately will get more than just one kill, right? You will absolutely destroy any dive attempt when the old really works, uh, and when you find that angle. But so far, like HLE's dives have been too clean for Burpo and for the worker to uh, yeah do his like little shenanigans, right? And inspired here now, kinda caught. I don't know, it was still digging around five minutes after the play has already subsided. I guess now maybe they are caught now in the in between turrets, but uh, maybe it also was a bit too sloppy. Can Quad find something? Nope, again, no is the answer. Lucio's old this time, not too terrible, but still quite cringe. And yeah, even when Hangwa Life is like in between turrets, Using cooldowns, I mean not too many, but some cooldowns on the Amumu, and like if they get flank TPs, like FlyQuest is just still not winning the fight, right? Okay, so Baron start at 22 minutes, and well, HLE is just uh, running this game, right? HLE from ahead, their team is just too smart. Inspire tries to look in the direction, but he can't even move. Maybe they can find some uh, positive plays here at the flip side of it. And I mean, so far it looks really good. Whippo finally gets the combination off and destroys the bot lane duo. And that's, oh wait, hey, the others also died. So the Barret is a death trap for Hangwa Life. Absolute massive, right? I did not expect uh, like FlyQuest to like go in like that. That, I mean, the plays weren't like, oh my god, Faker, what was that? But hey, they, they, like they, they had no hesitation. That was that was crazy, right? So, like if, if you go into this and it's like, oh yeah, sure we do this, right? But they, there is so much confidence, right? Buipo, I mean that's one of the strongest points of Buipo. That guy, he's maybe it's because he's so crazy, uh, but you will ne like even if he gets cucked all game, he will never back down on on this place. He will always flash forward, inspired. Like yeah. It's like, I got our jungle completely, I, like, our team gets shit on. I'm still going to flash into these people. I'm trusting that my teammates are going to, like, go in and follow up with me. That was very well done by FlyQuest. Very nice, uh, yeah, lining up of the, of the circles, I guess, right? And, like, sure, they're still going to lose this game and the series, right? I mean, we have to be delusional to think otherwise. 
Um, but uh, yeah, hey, that was a big move, right? The problem is Hangul Life, if they play smart, there's just no way, right? It's like they have stronger side laners individually, they have really good pick, they have map control, right? Due to the side laners and obviously due to having the turrets ETC, they can push in the waves deeper. And now what the hell is going on, right? They have this soul point threat coming up in three minutes, right? What is FlyQuest going to do? So their hopes are that they get a big fight at some point and that they like find a way to enter this fight. Oh my god, what did I just witness? Masu, that was so big. That sidestep was crazy. Now they've used lots of cooldowns and hopefully aren't getting flanked to shit. I mean, I'm LCK support on it, right? Obviously. And uh, yeah, but I also want to see a crazy fucking game and I want to have some fun. Because I, I still think uh, Hangwa Life is going to win in the end. Like, it doesn't matter what's going to happen here. But this is what they... I mean, this was just, like, a good a good play or outplay or whatever you want to call it, right? Zeka ults in. Masu just sidestepped that shit. And the bailout is not enough. Viper just shows why he's absolutely fucking cracked. Mr. World Champion, by the way. Here, let's see. Masu, just really nice movement. And Inspired gets the longest queue around. And just immediate follow up. Whipple with the fast TP. That's, yeah, that's good. Doran, look, I mean, it looks a bit dicey here on the flank, but no, again, with the fear beyond death, team is being split up. Whipple here caught. That's rough, but is it going to be an actual caught or is it just going to be another iffy situation for FlyQuest? They get the kick. Oh, that they leave Whipple alone. Viper goes in, but this team is still around. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my, and now what's that? That's Doran also kind of caught going back in again, but yeah, didn't get to talk about it. But what? Look at his items, right? Not the highest damage, but now he has so much HP, he's just not going to get one shot that easily. Obviously, Caspiopeia scaling, and now it's 11 11. FlyQuest picks up the Baron, and I, yeah, yeah, with all the individual mechanics of Hangwa Life. If they just continue to go in just like so disrespectfully, like committing so many cooldowns here for Whipple. And I mean, he gets the flash off and then boom, he lives long enough, he builds enough distance for his friend to come around and yeah, turn the play. And I mean, this would already be kind of tough, but now again, Viper commits to it, goes in right after he just had a hero play, which said we didn't get a replay of. And yeah, he doesn't get it. And then the next one just falls flat on the face. Oh, Peanut, no, you had a control word. Oh my. I mean, actually, I mean, that's okay. That's okay. Always worth it. Always worth it to like try to go in and get sold potentially. Uh, right, that's that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm not going to fault him for that one. We'll have to see how this game goes now, right? It's going to go on for a while, I, I believe. I, I mean, it's just, it's crazy, right? Dragon stacking, okay. Whippo here caught by the three-man gang squad. But Busio is in the area as well as Maso. There's the TP quite a bit late. But this time Maso doesn't have the movement, gets caught. And there's Doran to finish him off. And just like that, I think FlyQuest lost the game. <laughs> ah, I mean, I knew it. The moment I said it, uh, just a... Uh, 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 Couple of moments earlier. Oh yeah, this game is going to go on for a while, right? I was thinking about, oh yeah, dragons this, dragons that, but nope, that moment, Whippo gets caught. His teammates again rush to his defense, but they're all just rushing into the meat grinder, getting into poor positioning and hunger life. In the end, they win the game just like they kind of drafted for making picks, playing side. I just I shut the fuck up. It's like. Oh my god. I mean, hey, we got what we wanted. A Hangwa Life victory, but an exciting game. I think we can all be happy with that, unless you're an NA fan. But, I mean, if I look at my statistics, I don't have that many, that many viewers from the United States. Uh, but if you are, sorry. But, uh, I mean, I think we still had a fun game, no? Let's go into game number two. Okay, my friends, and this is going to continue, hopefully, with, like, fun. I mean, I wouldn't even mind it if FlyQuest wins this game and we get into a game three. I just want more of this. This was so exciting. Hangwa Life really handshaking the craziness. And, yo, look, look at, look at Hangwa Life. I mean, who cares? Zyra and Yasuo? Like, okay, okay. <laughs> On the other side, we have the Kalista with... Okay, it's just Leona, right? But we have Olaf. And who is next to that? It's... Oh my god. 
My Nunu is feared on the ARAM map. If you ever see a Nunu with the highest movement speed rolling around, movement speed Nunu, that's my calling card. Uh, yeah, besides inting my teammates in ARAM, obviously, um, yeah, Nunu, bit interesting, right? I honestly think the new Nunu, or like the Nunu, obviously the rework, like that was fucking ages ago. But I thought the old Nunu was maybe a bit better for pro play. Uh, due to like his ability to like be more supportive, have the uh, what is it, the snowball and so on and so on, like being point and click and all of that. If I remember it right, right, right. Uh, that was I think better for pro play than the new one, who is I think a bit just more of a fun solo queue champion. But we're going to have to see. No enchanter for Olaf. That's a bit crazy. But I mean, I just, let's just throw in like all of that thinking out of the window for now, and let's just go in and have some fun. There it is, the largest snowball around. It does not hit. Zeka here, your zoom in. I mean, he still gets the flash, so that's that. Um, positive news is we we started this game without lane swap, so we actually get to see the lanes. And I mean, Viper Delight. I mean. I, just anti-fun, right? Ezreal for Viper and the light picking up the poppy support against Kalista Leona. It's just like, ah. Uh, uh. I mean, as expected, right? They're getting a bit bullied, but there's just not too much that they can do, right? They can't really overstep in this matchup. Anyway, top lane gank. Whipple pops the ghost. Bro, if you leave the turret, you're dead. And he's still... He gets a random shield. Where did he get that shield from? Okay. Yeah, I mean, he gets Doran's flash there out of respect. Another positioning here around the dragon, so that's probably going to be just the neutral objective straight. Inspired managed to snack on the one of the grubs, so it's just two for one. That's at least a positive note for them. And yeah, uh, the light drops a free control rod over. But they don't want to take it? What? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, just don't don't talk about top lane, right? There's 30 CS difference and um, yeah, Whippo here. I mean, he's level 6, but uh, he's still just going to die, no? Again, tries to get some of the minions. And yeah, I mean, top lane is just uh, yeah. Rough. And uh, yeah, I mean, top lane, we, I mean, it's like on the first one, you might be able to like fault Whippo, it's like, yeah, why do you get so low in this lane? But I mean, he's, he's still a melee champion, right? What's like, what is he supposed to do? Just not exist against uh, this guy? Uh, should he predict that Peanut is going to pump by gank him? I don't know. I, so it's like a bit iffy, right? And Inspired is just not getting things done on the cross map, right? He's still down in CS against the, uh, the Zyra and look at the ca uh, look at the map. Zyra has fucking four camps left to clear and Inspired is just like clearing his last crux. Maybe something is coming up soon, but right. I mean, Inspired just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Didn't make anything happen and uh, I don't know what this noodle pick is all about, right? Besides running really fast, that's pretty cool, but... Uh, you're just not uh, you're just not doing anything, right? You're not ganking this Do uh, Doran guy here, right? And even then, right? He has like ruby crystal, core fields, like and the, uh, the boots already, right? You're just not dealing damage onto that guy at at this point, especially through his ult, right? Which I mean, it's going to come up of cooldowns, uh, yeah, just now, and it's like Doran gets low here. There's the Ragnarok gets. Uh, I mean, actually, okay, it's fine. That was wild a bit, but yeah, Doran doesn't have uh, Flash, doesn't have the ult, it just, it, it just really one second on, of cooldown before this could have been another disaster or just a failure, but I much needed boost in confidence and in gold for, uh, for FlyQuest, so I guess they'll take that. Well, we'll have to see. Inspired, not looking at all at this grubs, and that's just going to be a 5 for one grub, just freely given over. And uh, yeah, Whipple, um, how does it feel to get manhandled again? Just, yeah, slices and dices them down. Oh, cooldowns. I mean, no flash, no cleanse on Viper. Flash forward. Whipple is also here, but there is the TP. There is Zeka. Peanut ult gets value. There's the immediate ult follow up. It's a one for one, so they'll take that. But Masuo is also forced to flash away. So I guess this is why one for one is pretty good for FlyQuest at this point. And if you look at the summoners, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's see the cross map. Oh, wait, Busu actually goes in. What? I mean, this Renekton has no magic resist. Maybe it's okay. But it's a Renekton with ult. 
Yeah. Okay, they don't get the kill, but uh, they chase away Doran, they get the summoner spell, they get the ult. Now let's see what Zekka can do, obviously. Not too much against this, oh my. I mean, if it was a 2v1, it was already unfair, but the hunger life, they turn it around into a 3v2, that's also unfair. But I guess FlyQuest can't really complain, and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the individual matchup, right, what is, uh, oh, Viper still no flash, no cleanse, he should die here. Yeah, nice moment, just good uh, pick up there by FlyQuest bot lane. And uh, yeah, well, again, Busio game number one, like, uh, okay, a bit shaky, especially in the earlier stages, but uh, yeah. Now, so far, looks good. Let's see, okay, there it is. Zekka, can you find something here in this 3 versus 1 situation? Nope. And they are picked up by Quad. Again, oh, yeah. A bit rough though. Herald in mid lane will take care of that one. So, again, like even if FlyQuest finds something, it's answered immediately. Look at the bot lane, there's the turret going down, mid lane turret went down, and all of that just for a pick onto a Yasuo. Wait, Doran is still digging around here? And... Yeah, I don't think he knows what Nunu does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Doran. <laughs> Man, Doran and Kingen. How do... Like, how... Uh, what happened that these two guys are now I, I, I kind of like top level LCK top laners? Where, where's the rest, man? Like, other guys, you really need to pick up your slack. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we still have Keen and Zeus, but like, like that's kind of about it, right? LCK top lane situation just not looking all too good. And like, again, Dora and Kingen, they have the moments where they look good, but oh my, oh my. Let's see. For Fly, this is, like, this is their hope, right? Staking up the soul, Cloud Drake, by the way, and playing around it. Their soul is okay, or like their soul usage is okay. Oh no, that's the Nunu gone, and that's the Smite as well. Whippo tries whatever, but it's just not going to be enough. They're already so far behind. And I mean, Zekka here kind of goes in too far, baits his teammates kind of into it, and it's going to turn out to, to be a two for one. But that's the dragon also gone. Uh, a double kill for Quad, right? And I mean, I think this uh, Huawei champion can be pretty good, but I think Hangwa Life might be a bit too iffy for him, right? High, mobi high mobility carries, right? E for Ezreal. Obviously, dash, 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 with uh, the Yasuo, right? And the other people are like decently, decently tanky, right? And like, sure, Peanut is hard countered by uh, by Huawei, but doesn't really matter. Just when I talk about him, he gets killed. F, sorry, Peanut. But uh, yeah, I mean, FlyQuest here again, similar to last game. Finding some some things right in the combat phases, right? Sure, like I mean, they're not outplaying them, but uh, right, they're leveraging the champions uh, who are drafted for uh, for five v fives, four bigger fights, right? They're uh, like, they're leveraging them well. Anyway, twenty minute Baron. This is such a fast Baron there for the opposing squad, but there is the Nunu Star. Avoids the Poppy ult, right? Poppy is such a broken champion, not only because of her W, but because of her ult. Wait, the fuck? Masu just got cucked. But uh, can they play without them? We'll have to see. The light falls. You have to be careful here, FlyQuest. But actually, Hunger Life is splitting away like the sea. And yeah, they get the Baron. Sure, they sacrifice their probably strongest and best, best member right now. But they. I mean, best, who knows, but what the fuck did that minion just do? What's with these minions? Oh, Zekka. I mean, they have no damage there. Um. I mean, you can get the NA out of NA, but you can't get the NA out of the NA ram or something. Yeah, that's good movement by Inspired. Very important, right? Pop you old one of the strongest aspects of her. But Masuo. Not, I mean, you get caught by that. Okay, that's already bad enough. But god damn it, man. It's like... <laughs> Going through that corridor, oof, that is so rough, especially against Poppy, right? Oh my, oh my. I mean, the team fighting is still a bit iffy, right? But, 
Yeah, they absolutely need to work as a five-man unit to like layer it correctly and give Viper the space to like dish out the damage. But uh, yeah, they went in a bit one by one and they also split up. Oh, Peanut here again, fourth by the Buepo. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a double kill, right? Did out so much damage last time and. Sure, on paper, you look at uh, a champion like Zyra and, oh yeah, she's a melee destroyer. But the problem is with Olaf uh, against some of these, some, not all, but some of these melee destroyer champions, that his ultimate just turns away like so much of your potential to deal with melee champions, right? He does not care about your E. He does not care about your ultimate. He's running you down. And that's why Zyra, I think, against uh, Olaf is just, it's just not the, it's just not the pick, right? Okay, so let's see Cloud Soul, right? Uh, again, some some champions like Inspired, it's like, oh yeah, the soul is just doing so much for me. But then on the other side, hey, look at this Whippo guy, right? Getting the bonus movement speed and so on and so on, it's just, uh, it's just amazing, right? It's just so crazy for him. The Baron damage obviously is decently high and the secure obviously with the Feast, with the Rent. Like there's no nothing that Hunger Life should do in a Baron contest, but oh, Inspired, you're getting caught? No, it's actually Doran that's getting caught. And uh, yep, this Gator. Yep. Aye, aye. And now let's see, FlyQuest, I mean, there's just really nothing you can do here to lose this Baron, right? It's impossible. They're going to lose their bot lane in a turret, but uh, actually maybe mid lane as well. Right, six crops. Viper here, he doesn't have vision, so he needs to be really respectful, but yeah. Yeah, so gold traded for the Baron. What is Zeka doing? Hangwa Life really wants to lose this game. Jesus Christ. Okay, so soul fight. So uh, FlyQuest picks up a dragon. Hangwa Life, they picked up a lot of gold right now, but they weren't able to go back and spend the gold. On the flip side, Whippo, right, got the top lane in a turret. And yeah, they just give it up. They just give it up. Hang Wildlife. I mean, it's a best of three, so again, it's like not all hope is lost, but this game is just. We see again the, the good aspects of this team, right? The macro play in the early parts, right? Some of the in individual plays by someone like Viper, but we also see some of the issues, right? When. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just looks like inexperience comes in, right? I don't know if they ever played against, <laughs> like, uh, what is his name? Nunu. They have no clue what his abilities do. Absolutely crazy. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously now people are going to stroke Inspire and I mean, again, he's having a really good series so far. But let's be realistic, right? It's like, that's uh, kind of on the back of like some really good champion picks, which obviously like that is part of the player, but let's not, uh, well, whatever. Anyway, let's just see where this goes. The Poppy old ults away muscle. Can they win the 4v5? I mean, the Renekton is huge, but the Buepo is under turrets and is dead now. But uh, yeah, maybe they've bought enough space. Inspired Flash queues forward. There's the Strangle Thorns, picks up Masu, and oh, Bustio goes back in as well. Uh, yeah, FlyQuest flying, maybe a bit too close to the sun there, but uh, hey, they still pick up the inhibitor turret. They still traded, uh, I don't know, a 2 for, what is it, 3. So not the best fight, but they get the objective that they really came for to destroy the base. And uh, yeah, sure, the Baron buff is running out, but they picked up the souls prior to this and quad again qu quietly, just like last game. Right, it's doing well. Right, sure he's losing in CS. Right, again he has not picked a better side laner than Zeka. Right, Zeka's melee Zack Zack champions. Right, both of the uh, uh, Wind Bros obviously way better in side lane than fucking Huawei and Casio. But uh, he's still having impactful moments. Right, uh, he's landing some good poke. Right, he's making himself being annoying. I don't really like his build, but I mean I guess it's okay. Wait, what the hell? The light again. Uh, okay, good strangle thorns there, but sh again, the problem is there is the immune Ragnarok Whippo, but he tanks the turret and uh, yeah, they have to back off. They use their cooldowns, right? Likewise, decently old Reliant team here. Anyway, next Baron here, he doesn't even have a chance, right? He gets like spawn trapped here by FlyQuest. At least that's what we want to believe. Let's see what Hunger Life can do, right? It's like the, the contest is so hard, right? Because if the if the objective gets low, you can never steal it from them. Never. It's absolutely impossible. The peanut is yeah, okay, we can talk it into existence. And here again, peanut is like the Ragnarok is just so zuck zuck. 
And uh, yeah, Doran just dies earlier. Uh, yeah. Maybe Ezreal can do something here. Regardless, uh, yeah, uh, both teams, four members only. Look at bot lane, it's looking tough. But it's all about this Elder D D Dragon, the light with the flank. Can he find quad? The answer is yes, it's a one for one. But Buepo in the back is doing massive amounts of damage. Viper though, Viper though! Is it going to be enough? Masu and Inspired, they're going to get the Elder Dragon. Look at the base, right? They just need to... Oh, actually, actually Doran respawned. Okay, never mind, never mind. But uh, yeah, I mean, Viper showing off why he's like so highly regarded. I mean, a poor peanut. <laughs> like, I respect it. I, I like Zyra, right? It's like, if it works, if you pick Zyra in the right spot, it's just such an overpowered champion. It's just so good at like doing his spe her specific job. But not in this game, right? Sure, it's good against Nunu, right? Nunu has to walk in a straight line against you and you just E him into his face. Cool. His old, like your old doesn't really care about him. Usually he just right, rolls right through. But uh, yeah, regardless, Zyra against uh, <laughs> Olaf, man, it's just so tough. And uh, like, I don't know, Poppy obviously was picked relatively early if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't know, whatever. And yeah, they pressed buttons and uh, looks good so far. Elder Dragon doing its part, right? You don't uh, really have to do much here. And yeah, I mean, Viper tried. He, like, I mean, he, like, let the world know that Viper tried, but, uh, I mean, hey. The only thing stopping the game right now from ending is uh, the fact that there's no minion wave. And, uh, yeah, again, Viper, yeah, stand proud. <laughs> you didn't int, but, uh, yeah, the draft was hard, but, uh, FlyQuest, and they take a game off of Hangwa Life. Absolute mad respect. Obviously, Hangwa Life is, like, handshaking the Zack Zack, right? We saw it in game number one, very sloppy at like how they played out the game at the end of the game, right? They, and in this game, I, I was like, okay, so they're no not tr like playing around, not doing anything stupid. And honestly, it's not even a, a game where I can be like, oh yeah, Hungbo Life like inted, they did this wrong. And sure, there were mistakes, plenty. But this is really on the back of FlyQuest punishing, and like then once they have the ability to dictate like the game. They're making the correct choices, uh, or like making good choices, let's just say that one. So, this is actually really nice. This is really nice to see. Hangwa Life, I mean, it's kind of iffy, right? Hangwa Life, like, if you get this early game lead, how the hell do you throw it away? But, uh, yeah, FlyQuest, they're finding the niche moments where they can pounce, and they actually execute on it. That's not really something that you see from Western regions usually, right? Like, you need to give them 300 chances, 10,000 gold leads, and then maybe they manage to throw the game, right? So that's how it goes. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go away from my Hangwa Life is just going to crush them prediction. Because that's, again, what we saw reasonably. But, like, who knows? Who knows? Let's just see. let's just see the draft and maybe let's have more conversation then. Okay, so we come here into game number three. Uh, the draft was kind of, was like, yeah, up there, so kind of skip that one. Let's talk about the matchup. So we have Inting Sion in top lane against uh, the Dorans, uh, Nar. So Doran on full comfort, maybe he can be a bit more reliable in this one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Sion, let's see, maybe... Like last game and the game before, uh, I mean more so, uh, he gets camped, right? Uh, Peanut is just running this jungle and inspired, then shows up later with uh, objective control and like with the team fights being really good and so on and so on. But this time he's not on a crazy pick, he is on Vi. So we'll have to see, right? Um, we expect again aggression here in the direction. Oh wait, it's a swap. They swap. They swap. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. The, obviously, Sion is a champion that is really good in uh, like lane swap meta, right? Because obviously, of his passive, right? You you sack the death. Okay, fuck. But you get the XP. You get the the gold and so on and so on, right? You cheat that, and uh, then suddenly you're like ahead of the enemy top laner in lane swap, so on and so on. We've seen it, and obviously there are also shenanigans you can do uh, with jungle camps, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see here. Ooh, a crash down here by Busio, but he did not uh, pay attention. Peanut is in the area, and Peanut again makes things happen, delivers the first blood to Viper. I mean, I guess Busio, like, Busio really jumped on the spoon, and then Peanut spoon fed it to Viper. That's the analogy that we go with this, because, again, what is going on here? Let's see Whipple here, potential target, right? 
Gets the ult there. Peanut. Okay, flash for flag. Oh, the flash Q is enough, but on the bottom side. There's the feathers and oh my god. Um, this is the classic, what do you call it again? Disaster, right? Your top laner gets ganked, dies. Your bot lane, you try a 3 versus 2 play. But you lose it. You trade 1 for 2. So destruction for FlyQuest. Yeah, it's GG. So well. the I mean, Viper now really set up, right? In the previous games, the leads weren't really on him from these early game stages, right? And uh, yeah, he was trying to make something out of nothing. But now 2-0-1, 1.5k individual lead. Bro is really set up. I mean, let's see this here. I mean, they're really fishing for this play, right? And it's pretty telegraphed. The first line of engage, oh my god, okay, this is illegal. I mean, I mean, that one was just illegal. I mean, Delight got a really good ult, right? Is it predicted? Is it just lucky that Kaiser dashes into the ult? And making my way top lane, ganking fast. That's Peanut Song, and uh, yeah, Weppo has to use the ult, right? But, uh, yeah. I mean, they're still just chunking him out, right? And, I mean, Sion is doing his job, but, I mean, Bropo, you have to be fucking careful, man. It's like, sure, he buys time, he buys attention, but... Bro, what are you doing? I mean, he really wants to defend that turret, but giving another kill to Viper? I don't know, man. Like, Viper has flash and has ult. No, he doesn't have flash. He just walks it out. What the hell? That was... I have no clue what just happened, right? Like, sure, this was two people top lane and using cooldowns and so on and so on. So, it's like on FlyQuest sides, like, okay, they use so much top. We can do, cr we can do crazy cross map plays and uh, I am uh, lying if I said I paid attention, but I didn't. I was just kind of losing my mind over Whippo's decision making because it's like, sure, like, okay, you do this, you do that, you buy time, you do crazy, la 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 la. But then, I mean, like, why are you sticking around? Why are you giving another kill to the Zyre? Zyre picks up first blood turret. She picks up another kill. She's 2,000 gold ahead now. Let's see Zeka driving. Okay, okay. And... Hey! Right, Zeka now on two items, but he's still behind in terms of, uh, like, gold. In comparison to Quad, who yeah, has two fully stacked up uh, like items, they're doing the Baron now. Okay, so they want to leverage their lead, right? Three complete. What the hell? They want to leverage whatever, right? Three completed items on Viper. That is the biggest advantage that they have. But can Viper live? That is the question, and the answer is a big no. He has been slain, and HLE, I mean, they're desperate. Can they get something done here in the return? Masuo, not the strongest carry, so. Can't really hit them with the 1v9, and in the end, even with Viper dying, it costed FlyQuest everything. Oh, well, four members, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, it looked good, but they had to commit everything for it, right? Doran, as cringe as it is, it's like he's able to do the damage. Peanut, obviously, popping off, even with fucking cringe hard steel build. And yeah, they wait for the respawns and pick up five Baron buffs here, if I saw that one correctly. And uh, yeah, I mean, the game, again, is not over for Flyer. They got good shutdowns there. I think Maso picked up two kills, if I saw that one right. Now, now what? 7,000 gold deficit. The enemy team has five men Baron. They're pushing into your base. And yeah, they still have not the strongest siege, but oh wait, they have Baron buff and six grubs. That is just not great. And uh, yeah, Viper, he has ult, he has flash, he's again super safe. And uh, yeah, I mean, Quad's trying to do something in the side lane. Again, he has been doing well. Quad and Quid, even if their like, team performances have not been uh, like the most stellar, individually, I think both uh, champ uh, <laughs> champions, both players have been really uh, like, being able to do things individually, right? Yes. Regardless, they find Zeka here. Let's see. Can they do something? Flash gets cancelled. I mean, why the fuck would you ever try to flash in this situation? Sure, the idea is I die, but I buy time. But, uh, weird. Anyway, five people are being sent there. But, oh, wait, now they're trying to buff... Uh, do, 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 do something against the Scion, but... Well, Scion buys space, but... 
damage. Also chases Viper away. That means the light will fall for free. Now Viper forced to run into the turret. That is Peanut. Oh, ho, ho, mashallah. Peanut is the battle nut, man. I love that guy. Look at that old. He lines it up. And again, the same analogy. He picks up a big scoop of flight quest and mm, here's the plane. Nom, 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 nom. Spoon feeds Viper. The big kill coming in. And flight quest A. Stand proud. You fought well. But it's not going to be your day. Peanut and Viper drag the rest of Hangwa Life over the finish line. I say that uh, they, they can't finish. Can they finish? I, oh, oh, for fuck's sakes, man. But uh, yeah, Hang uh, I mean, Peanut. Execute? Uh, well, hey. Lucio picks it up. That's close to an execute, right? Uh, and there's no objective really on the map. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm continue to say it. Peanut and fucking Viper are running this man. With the ult, he sets it up. Whippo like, finds the ult and then he tries to chase away Viper. I mean, it does not look too bad, right? They have them with the bag against the wall and against the turret. But yeah, now let's see where this one goes, right? It all looks like not too bad, but this ult from Peanut absolutely game winning right he locks it down maybe if they get the kills here maybe if they all die right maybe flyquest can start their comeback but that peanut old was it it suppressed the hopes and dreams of the flyquest roster but hey they have not lost yet their base is in shambles the gold lead is staggering and zaya items look fierce but hey, just one big mistake here at 28 minutes and VST1, we know how it can go, right? You lose one team fight, and yeah, the game can be over in a moment. Notice, I think, like, I mean, giving over a soul is not great, but uh, it's a worthless soul, right? If you lose the game over this, like, yeah, you're going to get memed on, right? So just defend your base and stall it out, right? You have to, oh, two minutes, uh, yeah. You don't have two minutes of waiting time, right? Push out top lane, right? At least it's the lane next to the Baron, right? That's why top lane inhibitor is regarded as uh, one of the worst, right? If not the worst, right? But let's see. Baron obviously dying super, super fast. Inspired has not found a window and now I might actually have overstayed here. There comes the slows, there's the E, okay, does not connect, Busio gets away from Doran, maybe they have overchased, right, again, remember, like, Masuo is doing some damage, but, like, chasing into these corridors where Quad can, like, fire, oh, he might get caught here, gets the flash over the wall, there's a, another big ult, but he's not able to do the damage needed, gets a decent ult as well, but, yeah, it's just not enough, it's just not enough, even, oh, what happens here, whatever, we pause, I mean, the stream has ended. Spoiler, we're not watching live. Oh. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hangwa Life booked the tickets to quarterfinals again on the back of Peanut and Viper. Performance like something else, man. That was so good from them. I mean, obviously Peanut not a Mr. World Champion himself, sadly. Really close to it multiple times, but uh, yeah, Viper popped off. Really, the rest of Hangwa Life was there. On the other side, I mean, hey, Busio, yeah, okay, Busio, right? Um, Masuo looked good, Inspired really had his moments, uh, right? Whippo had his moments, but like we saw it in like this third game. The moment they go back to like standard, like uh, suddenly the game looks a bit more, uh, a bit more washed, right? Uh, still, one of the good things for FlyQuest, which I'm going to point out and really want to highlight, is that they played with confidence. At any point of the game, really, you never saw them. It's like, ah, uh, can I go for this? Maybe it looks bad. Maybe it's, it's like, no. They, 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 they called the play and sure, maybe not, not all the plays were like stellar or great and whatever. But, I mean, hey, like they went for the things and by doing so, like, it, like some things actually like turned around and worked for them in the end. So... I really want to like give uh, give them props for that, uh, but yeah, I mean HLE. <sighs> but okay, it doesn't matter. Now you have like a week or so. I think 17th uh, is the next game day. So yeah, you all have a big break and uh, you can fix things up. But uh, yeah, 
Hey, that's kind of about it. Hope you enjoyed this crazy best of three. And uh, yeah, I sure did. Hope you did too. Smack that like and subscribe button to not miss out on world's, more world's content. Obviously, T1 games are still coming up. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. Hope to see you there. Bye, my friends.